Hello everyone, welcome back to channel YOB. I'm Yashua Solomon. Today I'm doing a reaction to Coco or keep saying Coco. Cuckoo. What the fuck's wrong with me? Cuckoo. Official trailer two in theaters August 9th. I'm really looking forward to this. Um I'm a fan of Hunter Schaefer. I think she's a great actress, uh, from Euphoria to Kinds of Kindness. Even the little cameo that she had, I really enjoyed. Honestly, I think she just has screen presence, and I think I'm really excited to actually see her lead a film. You know, it's unlike someone like Zendaya, which I'm not excited to see her lead films. It's like literally she's not gonna she's gonna get zero, zero fucking effort. Yo, even when they did the Rue and um, Jules special, Jules' special was way more emotional. Like, I got way more emotional watching that than watching Rue. Just sit there. Or uh, Zendaya. Is just, um, uh, uh, yeah, I just, I just think I'm not going to be around much longer. It's like every movie, you're just, you're just mopey, you're just looking, or you're... Mm, mm, mm. I'm, I'm angry. It's just, it's just, I, it's not acting. She's just a nepotism hire. That's it. That's all. It's like she has connections, and she could see in her performances. And people call her a fashion icon. Who, 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 what, what, who's, what women are wearing? You gotta be. How are you an icon of fashion when people can't afford to buy clothes that you're wearing or mimic the way you dress? Nobody's walking around looking like Zendaya. Who's walking around with a a, a, a full armor suit? Like a suit of armor from the medieval times. Who, who the fuck is How is that fashion icon? She's wearing a costume. And she's not like that in her personality. She's not, her personality is not artsy and trippy and, and gothic. But she's going to the Doom premiere, Doom Part 2 premiere, wearing fucking a suit of armor. It's just like, okay, how about we stop wearing all these costumes and actually act? <laughs> it's like, how about we get better? Like, I'm at a point, I used to like Zendaya. I liked her personality from uh, fucking Euphoria. And then, I, I mean, before that, I even liked her as Mary Jane in, in Spider-Man until, you know, the second one. And then the third one where she just pretty much is not has not grown as a character. It's just her walking around. Mm, I don't know. Mm. She's a horrible fucking actress. Like, her acting literally pisses me off. But, you know, enough of talking about Zendaya. It's just, it's just comparing the two is just like night and day difference. This is like Jesus Christ, like what the fuck? But anyways, uh, let's get into this reaction. I'm really, I've been holding this um, for a while, um, but I'm really excited to check it out, and I'm excited to see the movie. Hopefully, I get a chance to see it, you know, around the time it comes out, you know. But yeah, let's get it. All right, without further ado, three. Two, one, Calabunga. Investigator Henry Lando. I'd like to ask you a few questions about the incident. I need you to help me find that woman. Very long. So far, I'm liking that it's a mystery on what exactly is going on. I don't like movies that you, you go into, especially horror. It's like, I think scary movies, you, you, you need to have mystery. And I've always thought about making a zombie movie that in the trailers wasn't a zombie movie. It was like some sort of romantic story or a, 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 a high school drama like Euphoria or something like that, where it leads into a surprise like Predator, the first Predator. It's like it's, it's, it's a surprise horror film that pops up out of the fucking blue. Like, it's just a zombie apocalypse. This comes out of the fucking blue in a movie that never had that, never had any marketing for that. I think that's a, that's the type of shit that people should do for cinema. Well, that's something I would have totally tried to do. It's just surprise. I've always thought that would be interesting. It surprised the audience, you know, and have it be sold through word of mouth. And then that was, that's what, that's, and trust that people were, will be interested in watching a movie. You know, and yes, maybe you're not going to have, you know, um, people, 
I don't know what I was going to say, but yeah, maybe you're not going to have people uh, fucking, shit, I'm trying to think. Uh, and I, it's like, I, I don't think people are going to like see it the opening night if you made a movie like that. Because it's just they're not gonna they're not gonna they're gonna think it's just a simple movie, unless and that's the thing maybe and that's the thing you should I think I would actually try to make a good movie that is not a horror film first and then have it turn to a horror film like some Dust of Dawn kind of shit because that's literally what Dust of Dawn did and I don't think about it, that's literally what Dust of Dawn did but it was always it's not exactly that it's just jarring to come from a crime thriller you know um a, you know a movie to a like vampire film. It's very bizarre. And Hunter Schaefer is doing a great job from what I've seen so far. Just even the facial expressions are just so authentic looking. I mean, just, yes, more performances from her, please. What was your first day, my dear? Not good. Not good. The closer you come to where we are now, the amount of people that have encountered the woman increases. When are we going to see some action? Why did you bring us here? You're here because your family belongs here. That's a fucking weird way to put it. Oh, it feels so good. I need you to come to me now, and I angel. Watch out! What did she want from me? If I were you, I wouldn't want to get hurt even more. Interesting. Um, yeah. I'm interested in watching that. Um, Hopefully it's not convoluted and just a bunch of fluff, you know, and hopefully it's not being overhyped by the marketing because that's what long happened with Long Legs. Long Legs was overhyped. That movie is not scary. I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe if I watch it long down the road and I see it over and over again, maybe I'm missing something that everybody else is seeing in it. I, I, I just don't see Nicolas Cage. It's not scary to me. It's just like laughable. It's like this is goofy. It's like silly. It's not intended. His face looking on like it's just no, dude. That shit is goofy, bro. Like I, I don't, I don't. I've seen a plenty of horror films. That is just not intimidating. And it's just, I mean, all I can say is that the cinematographer, goddamn, give them a trophy for that movie. That is the and, and the, the marketing editors, uh, the trailer editors, give them a, a, a fucking bonus and, 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 and give them a war for trailer editing. <laughs> it was just. But yeah, this movie I hope is not being overhyped or oversold as oh my god, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread bread. Sliced bread, the can you speak? But um wait a minute, give me one second. Sorry about that. I just just making sure I didn't have bath water running, and I don't need to fucking get this place flooded and then piss off the people downstairs. But yeah, I like I really like uh, Hunter Schaefer in this. I think you know there's she said that she they're gonna be doing Euphoria season three, which I'm like, how the fuck are you gonna do that? You guys all look like you're older now. Like what? Like at this point, it's gonna get kind of weird to see like grown adults walking around high school. It's like, are we all like literally like damn near thirty years old now? This is like this is just strange. I mean, yeah, uh, Zendaya still looks young, and I think you, yeah, you could, you know. But still, it's just I don't know. Do we need another Euphoria season three? I, I think it's just the show has not aged well, and I think it's just the more I think about it, I find it just offensive. But I don't want to get off topic. This this is good. I'm excited to see what Hunter Schaefer does in this, and uh, I'm excited to see what Tillman Singer, uh, I believe he's a German director, he wrote and directed this, which is like, I do appreciate that from director.
directors, creatives, because that means they really put in their vision behind it. It really is something that is authentic. It's not like, okay, I'm just doing uh, doing this for money. Uh, we're just making a remake. And Neon has been making some good ass movies, man. I think ne- what this is ne- Neon made um fucking Long Legs, which is not a good sign. Well, you know Neon makes great movies. They made, I believe, uh, Perfect Days. They make some really good. Neon is coming through with some good movies. Long Legs is just overhyped. But um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this, if you don't like this, um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. It helps out tremendously. If you want to see more videos with me. Uh, and or want to be notified whenever I release a new video, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. And as always, may the force be with you. Peace and out.